And welcome, 21 years as chairman, I understand. 21 years, as I. Mine, it doesn't seem like 21 years, I must admit, you yeah. know. It's, uh, I've enjoyed my time in that, you know, and seen a lot of changes in the club in 21 years, you know. Um, when I first joined the committee, the club was run from the mechanics club down the road, and then we got a sponsorship with the Federation Brewery, which lasted for 20 years. So obviously over that time, we got a lot of help off the Federation Brewery for floodlights, and we made this ground the way it was, you know. Plowed a lot of money into the into the ground, and uh, it, it paid it's paid dividends over the years because you know we're happy what we've got now. We could move up with this ground if we wanted to. The ground has passed the inspection with that. When we lost the Federation Brewery, we didn't have a sponsor for three or four years, and then a lad from there. Uh, Charis South Shields, uh, Sean Sadler, who's got a company, Utility Technology Services, he came on board as main sponsor. And the two, you've got two shirt sponsors, Dunson Van and Truck and Astley Signs, and they've been sponsoring us now with the shirts for over 10 years. So, you know, we've been blessed with good people to help well along the way. This is one of the few grounds I've been to where there's a lot of advertising hoardings around the ground, so you obviously get help. Yeah. Um, but at this level, you still need more help, yeah? Oh yeah, you do, yeah. I mean, uh, you've got to keep looking for advertisers and bringing money in through advertising and that, you know. You can make your own money by having functions and that, but if you can get people behind you with advertising, they'll give you a little bit more. If you, if you, you know, if you treat them right, they'll treat you right, you know. Is it something, as a chairman, you'd be looking to do and that's move up through the leagues? I haven't been against it. The only thing which has frightened has been the cost of travelling. Yeah. Because obviously, I mean, the nearest you would play would be Harrogate Railway. So if you play anybody else, you've got to travel to Harrogate Railway before you start, you know what I mean? Yeah. And it, it's always put us off. But times change, and I think they're trying to make it more of a, an eastern side, another league on the eastern side going down. I mean, if you haven't got to travel across to Manchester and that, and you've just got to go straight down to Leeds, it's not too bad, you know? Because if you were playing Whitby, how long does it take to get to Whitby in an hour and a half, two hours? Yeah, yeah. So if you went straight down to A1, the M1, to somewhere two hours, you can get the matlock in two hours just about, you yeah. know? So that wouldn't be so bad. Now it's when you've got to cut across country to Liverpool and places like that, you know? Yeah. So I think we would we would consider it if we if we thought the finances were right and we've now got quite a bit of travelling support away from home. Um, we took about 80, 90 people down to Barnoldswick and if you got them on the coach and helping you with the coach fares, you know, it could be, you know, it could be viable. It could yeah. maybe do it. I mean, to be honest, we interviewed 15 chairman last season and there wasn't one who was particularly keen on moving up simply because of what you said yeah. but on top of that you've got you need new players with oh, with different that. jobs who yeah. can maybe get away well, that's so right. that's right the journeys that people have got to make now uh, they've got to maybe finish work at three o'clock play midweeker saturdays they might work saturdays and they've got to miss a saturday and what do they want? They'll want pay. They want do, extra yeah. money, won't yeah, they? Yeah. You know, they've, they've probably got families, mortgages, so you can't blame them for wanting that extra money, really. Also, I spoke last season, as you well know, Morpeth Town won the Vars, and I spoke to Nick Gray about why he thought the Northern League was so successful. Obviously, he's won it yourself in 2012. What do you actually think it is about the Northern League and the, the Vars? I can go back a lot of years with the FA Vars now, and when, when Bedlington got to the final, Tow Law got to the final, etc. And the teams that they played have moved up the pyramid, mind. Mm -hmm. You know, apart from the Northern League, and I'll probably get wrong by saying this, where teams generally haven't moved up, in other leagues they have moved up yeah. because they haven't got the travelling, you know, so they can afford to go up, you know. Whereas up here, we're out on a, out on a limb. And I think that the actual strength of our league that's the reason it's so much stronger than other places. But like last season, you mentioned more, but look at Hereford, you know, and uh, the other team that Steve Claridge was manager of. Right, Salisbury, was it? it Salisbury? Salisbury, yeah. that's right, you know. If we had to beat Ashford, we would have had to travel to Salisbury. Um, and they were pushing it to try and win the Vars. And of course, Hereford were getting four or 5,000 people watching them. But more with really done them in the final. It just shows the strength of the league, you know. Well, I did speak to the mayor of Hereford afterwards right. and he said the problem that he thought they had on the day they weren't used to a club like Morpeth who actually fought back they'd been railroading teams yeah. week in yeah. week out yeah. because yeah. the level of competition yeah. was not as strong as what they played on the day. Well I spoke to Chris Swale shortly before they played in the final and um, 
said to Chris, do you think you've got a chance? He says, oh, he says, because they, their league isn't anywhere near as strong as our league. They might win some of their games down there 4-0, 5-0. He says, but there wouldn't be Northern League teams 4-0 or 5-0, you know? And they say that's a difference, the strength of the league, you yeah. know? And finally, your aspirations for the season ahead? We're taking each game as it comes, we perfect. I know people say that, but we've gone through big changes this close season. We've got a lot of youngsters into the squad. We're not really going to say we want you to do this and want you to do that. We don't want to put any pressure on anybody. What we want this season is the youngsters come here, learn the Northern League, because they've never played in such a tough league, uh, learn the Northern League, enjoy the football, and hopefully we'll enjoy it with them. And that's all we're going to ask of them. Fantastic. Well, yeah. good luck for the rest of the season. Yeah? Thanks. Thank you. Yes.